Good morning tank people, lovers. Tank lovers? That sounds a bit wrong. Talking of tank lovers and love in general, spring has sprung and it's time to play Valentine AT. Now I don't actually have anything nice to say about this tank at all. It is... I think awful might not be a strong enough word. It, it's bad in every, every respect. There's something about British tanks that, you know, I'm... I'm British-ish, British, -ish, British, <laughs> British-ish. Um, so I feel like I, I want to play British tanks. You know, I want to give them a try. I want to see what it was, what was going on. But god damn, either war gaming makes it hard or British tank design makes it hard because this tank is awful, just terrible. It's slow. It's got a kind of awful view range. It's got 60 hull armor on every side, but the the gun mantler is I mean that's paper thin and obviously to make the sort of turret-ish thing more armoured they decided that they would use yep they would put ammo racks on the sides to make sure that the armour is a little bit thicker but also very explosive so ooh, not a great tank but it comes with a dirt gun option which is funny at least so you know what Maybe it's not all that bad. Maybe we'll do well in the bad line. It just takes... It doesn't help, obviously, that I'm still at that stage where I'm going, I don't know where I want to go. And obviously, looking at the minimap now, I've probably committed to the wrong side already. But because it's such a slow tank, you don't really have much choice. You go, this is the side I'm on. And if you want me to change flanks, I, I can pencil you in maybe next Tuesday. But good luck with that. Let's hope that this Panzer 38 and this Skoda T24 will be able to do some spotting for me because, again, the range pretty awful. Let's have a look. That's not actually a bush, is it? No, it's not. But I could hide here for a second, maybe. I thought I got a, got a glimpse of him, there. Right? Well, help. Sorry, T24. I'm, I mean, I'm helping, but... Holy crap, the other side has done really well. Why was I... Why didn't I go down that route? Right, I'm gonna move up a little. Maybe... Can't see him. So I think the howitzer... Ah! There's something up there, because you mean. Oh! Thanks for thick armor. Well, you know what? I've got to get consumables for this tank because death in this tank is is a small mercy. I'd like to do something this game. If we win and I do absolutely nothing, I always feel very sad. Like, yeah, my win rate is a bit better now, but I didn't really add anything to the team. Did I? Crunch. Let's see if I can help this guy out. Now, I don't normally record games where I do this poorly. I, well, or rather, obviously, I do record them. I record pretty much everything that I do in this game, but I don't upload it. I'm going to upload this one because part of me is going to look. Two reasons. Firstly, part of me is going to look back once I'm done with the Valentine AT, and I'll, this will be a, my recording of how much I hated this tank so much. <clears throat> the other thing is, this is a lesson in not what to do. Of what not to do. I stopped paying attention. I didn't notice the T34 there. I was thinking, oh yeah, I'll, I'll kill that stug as it goes around the corner. Oh dear. Their T34 has got five kills and their M4 has got four kills. They've carried that team pretty hard. I mean, the KV. We've got, we've got a KV1S. He's a bit dented up, but and a British medium three. Come on, British tanks, you can do it. Come on, Russian tanks, <laughs> you can do it. Come on, Russian tank. Russian tank is the 
hide is. Just let's just hide. And you know what? Don't worry. I love that stubby little gun though. Kill this fucking Sherman. Ads, check your mailbox for eyes. That's some sound tactical advice. What's the stuck doing? Man, the stuck. Stuck four. But it's oh yeah, because it's got like the same skirt as the Panzer four. God, I love that tank. Why? Why am I playing that? No, Mark, you're not playing that because you're trying to find tanks that. The KB died. So I think this is so my plan for this week is to try and play tanks that I don't normally play very often to sort of mix things up a bit, get away from always playing games with KB2 and T34 and the, and you know explore the other tanks in the game because there are other tanks and there are going to be some good ones. I'm pretty sure that lurking in between all of the awful things like the Valentine 18, there's something great. But I think British tanks are so. I'm not sure, maybe once you get past tier 6 and 7, they, maybe they get better. But it feels to me like there's always some niggling little problem with, with them. They're, they're never... I mean, no tank is perfect, of course. No tank is going to be able to do everything right. But there's always one design flaw in British tanks that just ruin them. And in a way, I guess that's fine, because it lets people who are playing against British tanks go, well, yeah, that's a tier 4 medium, but it's as slow as a... Bonk! Oh, he's got the bloodlust. He's got the bloodlust. He had the bloodlust. Shame. <laughs> 